So, Far Cry 5 is just a few weeks from release, and we can all then jump into the world of Hope County. Ubisoft invited me to a recording event in Paris last week for one final chance to play the game before its general release, and the gameplay you're watching now is from that event. Unfortunately, I couldn't live commentate this time. The room we were in was a bit echoey and it kind of sounded bad on the recording, but I can still explain some stuff to you anyway because there is a lot of new stuff happening here. But if you've watched any of my previous videos on the game where we went like fishing for half an hour or we were enticing male and female cows to do their business, then 100% you already know what to expect from Far Cry 5 in terms of action and just pure mentalness. So therefore, today's video I'm going to do some quick explaining of what's going on in this new gameplay. First of all, yes, I'm playing with a controller. This was all on the PS4 Pro. It does look rather impressive, but forgive me if it looks a little bit bad in terms of gameplay. Sometimes my aim isn't great. This isn't my home platform. I'd love to have played on PC, but PS4 Pro is what we got at the event. All of this gameplay is from a different region to what I've shown you previously. This is now the northern part of the map, and it's a region called Whitetail Mountains. And here you'll be working to liberate different locations from the clutches of the cult. Now, the whole region is controlled by Jason Seed, and he's a member of the family who started the cult that's taken over control of Hope County. The whole region is being contested by members of the Whitetail Militia, and this is another segment of the resistance that you're part of after being stranded in Hope County as well. Now you can visit and liberate loads of different locations, you'll be getting rid of the cult whilst you're there, and you'll be gaining access to lots more guns for hire in this section of the map. And these are the characters that you can call upon when you're fighting the cult and completing missions. They can assist you with their different skills. Now Cheeseburger the Bear, he's a good one that you might want to try. However, I failed the mission to unlock him. Someone had set my game difficulty on the PS4 Pro to the highest possible, so everything was much harder for me to complete and I only got told that at the end of the recording session as well so I swear someone was just having me on the entire time but yes you can befriend a bear in Far Cry 5 called Cheeseburger and he will help more people to death for you. Whilst I was free roaming the map and minding my own business blowing stuff up, I did notice a few new tougher enemies in different outposts that needed liberating. Now I'm not sure if these are characters purely based on the difficulty level that my game was running at, which I kid you not, it was just extreme, like I would take two bullets and I'd probably be dead but I noticed they were in certain different locations and they would come in as reinforcements as well. And it kind of changed up the gameplay a little bit. Rather than just running and gunning as soon as you were detected, these guys were a lot harder to kill. They had upper body armor, Kevlar vests and metal helmets. So if you tried firing bullets at them, they just wouldn't take any damage. So you needed to like throw explosives in there and blow them up or try and lure them out and then sort of do a melee takedown animation. So it kind of broke up the gameplay a little bit by having them in there and I really enjoyed that part of the game plus they were carrying m60 machine guns which you could steal if you killed them and then just mow everyone else down around the outpost so they really did change up the gameplay and i appreciated that considering a lot of the enemies were kind of weak in certain scenarios oh and there are jet skis in the game as well because well why the hell not why wouldn't there be jet skis in far cry 5 they're good fun you can sort of use them to get over lakes and stuff but there are cultists that use boats as well and if they spot you whilst out on the water it turns into a jet ski battle which was something i really really didn't expect but having them in there just only really added to the awesomeness of this game now, I did get to play some of the very first sections of the story in Far Cry 5. There is a narrative to all of this chaos that you're seeing here. You're sent in with a US Marshal to arrest Joseph Seed, or the father as he's known, and things don't quite go to plan. That's the entire premise of the game. But I won't spoil anything because that much info that I've just told you has already been released. And the story seems to try and normalize what's actually happening in the region. I mean, you as the player know it's just absolutely crazy, but the story kind of makes you feel like what is happening could actually happen at some point. 
Now, Far Cry 5 launches later on in March. It's just a few weeks away now, and I think I'm going to try and set aside like a day or two so that I can stream the main story on my YouTube channel, and you guys can come and watch if you want to. The last major Far Cry game that I really put proper time into was Far Cry 4, and I completed about three quarters of the story, but I never really finished it. This time, I do want to complete it, and I want to play some of the DLCs that are going to come out for it as well. So if I can get the stream up and running, I'll try and make that work for you guys and we can all experience the story together. I think that'd be kind of cool. But there you are, that's your look at the region Whitetail Mountains in Far Cry 5. It was just as crazy as I thought it was going to be and I just really can't wait to get my hands on this full game later on in March when it launches. Thanks very much for watching. Let me know whether you're going to pick up the game down below in the comments section. But until next time, my name is Westy and I'll catch you guys in the next video.